Hey guys, uh, a couple of weeks ago I broke my uh, drive shaft on one of my uh, Galen Day 2 uh, diffs. Uh, basically, the output drive completely snapped. So, I ended up with a three wheel drive vehicle, which is a lot of fun. It's kind of weird. But uh, at the same time as I got these off, uh, looking at them and checking them out, I went and got something to replace them completely with. Uh, they're pretty old. They got some good use out of them. And I had a look at the uh, Voodoo drive shafts that I had taken off, uh, that I had uh, installed, uh, I don't know, maybe about uh, no more than 10 runs ago. So I decided to have a look at them. And you know what? They're holding up pretty darn good. Uh, usually drive shafts, especially in the uh, universal joint area here, uh, they'll develop a lot of wear, and these ones aren't so bad. Uh, so far, so good. Oh, it might be because the piece is brass inside. Maybe it doesn't wear out as fast, or I don't know. But uh, they're doing all right, and uh, I like them. So let me show you what I uh, got uh, to replace my uh, D90 diffs with. So. These are the new Boom Racing fat axles. Now they made them, they had made them first for the SX10, and they finally released some for the uh, Galende 2 chassis. And just in time, too, because you know, uh, fixing mine would have cost a certain amount of money. And you know, they're old, and you know, what's the point? So I got these instead. Check this out. Look at that. Looks pretty much the same. That's a D90, that's the Boom Racing one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's the rear. Let's take out the front. So this is the front. It comes with the servo mount on the top, as well as as well as uh, servo mount brackets, uh, aluminum hexes. Same thing for the back. They come with the aluminum hexes. Uh, seeing as this has the servo mount on it. I'm torn as to whether I'm gonna use this or stay with the uh, uh, this the uh, chassis mounted servo and the pan hard. Uh, I really like the scale looks of the pan hard, and since these diffs are pretty much the same, uh, I think I might stick with the pan hard setup. Now, one of the differences is the uh, steering knuckle. The steering knuckles on the original Galende chassis are almost all covered up. You can't really see the, uh, the drive inside. Uh, as the Boom Racing ones have the universal joint. Right on the... Uh, quite visual. Oh, way open. And... Uh, they seem pretty good so far. Now, these are solid steel. They're pretty heavy, actually. Uh, the D90 Galende 2 chassis uh, diffs are made of aluminum. They're pretty light. So this would definitely add some weight to your uh, chassis, uh, keeping it fairly low. And uh, the only one thing, uh, the first thing I really noticed when I first saw them is the drive link, the uh, steering links. Uh, I think they're going to bend very easily especially with the servo that I have uh, the moment something's going to torque on one side see it? I'm going to hold this side and I'm going to push this side as if the servo was going 
Look what's going to happen. So we need some heavy duty steering rods. These are just going to bend right out. Another difference is that the diff itself on the Galende 2 chassis is offset to the right. Whereas the Boom Racing one is offset to the left. Now this won't change anything. Because uh, the rotation still does what it's supposed to do. As in if I rotate this way it still goes forward. And the same thing goes for the Boom Racing diff. So I'm going to make a separate video uh, installing these. And then another video running them and uh, we'll see how they perform so uh, stay tuned <laughs> 